All right, guys, we're out on the streets. We're uh, trying to find people to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we need some new ones. You guys aren't cutting it anymore. We need more, so. I think I found some suckers. Hey! Hey, you guys. I don't have any change. Hey, I don't, wait. Let me give you some change. Change your life. You guys, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's uh, youtube.com slash combs for great content. <laughs> We're coming content? Yes. I found it. Are you going to do it? Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to okay. do it. I'm going to do it. Right Search I'm Combs, uh, type in Marvel. It'll come right up. Not Luke Combs. It'd be great. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. All right. Boom. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right. What about you? Are you going to do it? You're going to do it. Come on. You got to do it. Oh. I'll, I'll, I'll see we'll what it share it. We'll wow. share it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, good to, good to see you guys. Yeah. Why does this game always take so long to load? Somebody riddle me that. All right, everybody. Today, hey, 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 hey. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button and uh, so you can stick around for more awesome content. So you guys know, um, sponsored by a cool organization called Beautiful Halo. Uh, link in the description. They got a, really, a lot of really, really cool um, Avengers, Marvel, uh, clothes, gear, stuff like that. Check it out. Um, yeah, it really helps out the channel if you purchase anything through that link. What we're gonna be talking about is how to always win blitz battles. I feel like that's a thing. We're all playing blitz all the time, it seems like. So I'm gonna show you how to just win, like guaranteed wins, like, you know, of course, no match is guaranteed if you misplay, um, but pretty much as long as you're not a dummy, you should be able to win. And that is basically, you know, it's just building teams with synergy. So what I wanna talk about is just looking at, so, this is one of the teams that I have, and I just want to talk about them briefly. And we're going to talk about a couple different teams and kind of just like what it takes and what that looks like. Why I say like, hey, like if you use this, you're going to win and, you know, so on and so forth. And just kind of give you a basic skeleton to putting together, you know, maybe different teams that I don't have or that I'm not using that will help you get those guaranteed wins as well as picking matchups and stuff like that. So just overall, just a, an inclusive guide on winning blitz battles because i know when i first started playing this game and even up until like i was probably like level 55 60 i didn't really understand like how to consistently like build teams pick matches and you know get those extra points now obviously it's easy but that's just because i've been playing for you know a year and a half so i want to show you guys what i mean by that so essentially right off the bat <clears throat> you got this team miss marvel brawlers right so pretty simple you look at this and you say oh yeah like i can build this team um and yes you probably can but so what you do the, the thing is you know so you got the brawler synergy obviously the assists and whatnot with that with hero brawlers and miss uh miss marvel easy peasy good team and then we got mercenary riot guard in here because he gives defense up pretty regularly it helps keep everybody alive that's part of what i'm talking about is that you want to have you know a, a lot of times two tanks is super helpful um that's my opinion but he gives defense up a lot and i think that he fits good with this team because i'm not running a mercenary team so for me i think that he's a good fit here on this team uh let's look at so for example <clears throat> say we're gonna play a match right okay so all of these are probably defenders or wow that team but so essentially like if i'm looking at these the team that i'm gonna choose is either going to be this team because they don't have really any synergy other than punisher and daredevil but you could also take on this defenders team because the one thing you can look at is that you could say okay well what's the biggest damage dealer that's going to be daredevil and punisher and they do extra damage against villains so you think about stuff like that and you say okay well the only villain is the riot guard and you know you don't really care about him he's just there to get beat up anyways so that's not really too bad to worry about so then they're not going to do any bonus damage to these guys which kind of gives you a bit of an advantage you think about it and you know maybe you wouldn't want to face a defenders team that is a you know 34,000 power stronger than your brawler team that would be up to you but I think if we we're going to do this fight, we'd probably go for this one because it's an easier team. 
and you know you just look at it sometimes you gotta study the stats and you can look at things and you say okay well the Thanos is pretty beefy but not a big deal if you can beat down some of these guys before that happens all right so the next team we're gonna look at and this is spider-verse this is actually one of my favorite new teams i never really thought that they were that good before and you know you guys know if you've been following the channel for any amount of time that i've been talking about them for a little while is that um i've been talking about them for a little while now now that i've gotten on the hype train for them is that i think they're super good but you have to be careful you have to be really careful with who you fight with them because they're not necessarily going to just you know punch above their weight class against every team what i mean is so for example you could probably beat this team with them this one Hard to say, um, I'd like to think you could beat him, but it, that one could be a toss up. I probably would not go for that one. And defenders, I don't think you can, you cannot easily beat defenders with Spider-Verse. Maybe yours you can, but I've just kind of found that Jessica Jones really messes them up and then Punisher and Daredevil really mess them up because this team has three villains on it. And they're also pretty squishy. So like Daredevil's chain attack and Punisher's AOE attack, I mean, you can pretty much like, it'll wipe out somebody if they do it right and so like it's just tough i don't know it, it's hard and then like i said with jessica jones cleansing and stuff like this team's about a lot of debuffs so it's kind of hard to i don't know it, it doesn't work well at least for me maybe different for you but i would not run it against that and so when you look at this you say okay well i would not face that team i would try and face this team and so you really have to it's important to think about your matchups and the more you think about your matchups, the more wins you can get, and the more consistent wins you get, the more points you get. And so I'm sure that a lot of us know this, but I do want to say this for the newer players. Like I said, I did not understand Blitz at all for a long time coming into the game. So it just helps to clarify. And so like you look at this team and like, as we know, um, positioning is super important, right? So the positioning here for this team is not as important simply because there's no tank on this team. So let me show you what I mean with positioning. This is another one of my favorite teams that's out right now, is a military team, military tech team. And um, so what's so special about this positioning? All right, so you guys should know by now, and if you don't, there's a great way for you to learn, is that uh, the tank should always be on the back, or not, not on the back, excuse me, on an edge. That way, if someone's doing like a, a quake style attack or a shuri style attack where it's like the it hits adjacent targets on the basic, that way it'll only hit them and one other person if they're taunting. It's a really simple, dumb thing, but I think it definitely helps. So also with this team, and this will only be consistently with someone who's in stealth all the time, who I think is really only Black Widow, maybe Mystique, but um, is that when Black Widow goes into stealth, then anybody that's hitting Captain America the chain is not gonna continue because it's gonna run right into her. So I think that that's pretty, pretty significant, pretty important to do that there. Now it's a bit of a risk uh, with Black Widow because if you're facing someone like Hawkeye or Mystique or someone who like maybe even uh, Green Goblin who messes up with people in stealth, um, it's a little risky to put her right next to the tank because she's squishy, but for the most part, she's gonna be in stealth all the time. So beyond that, um, I've got Captain Marvel on the furthest other side because she would be the next squishiest character and So that keeps her away far as far away from the action as possible if that makes sense So she's good, but she can also get taken out pretty easily or at least mine can at the low gear level You know, it's not gonna be like consistent like hey copy this exactly You know if you happen to have this team and your Iron Man is really low then and your Captain Marvel's really high Maybe you should consider swapping them so that that way you know, like I said, the person who is the lowest will be the furthest away from the expected action. So the reason I say all that is to just, it's important to think out what you're doing, right? So you don't just want to like toss everybody in a team and just say, okay, here we go, because it's not going to work. You know, it's like if you, you toss in defenders and you put Luke Cage in the middle it's, and then you put Daredevil on one of the corners. Well, that's not taking advantage of the fact that whenever Daredevil gets hit, Punisher takes an attack on that person. You know what I mean? So you want to put Luke Cage on one far side, then Daredevil. And then I like to have Punisher on the edge because he's the squishiest. And so it keeps him furthest away from the action. In fact, let me just show you what I mean. So I put it like this, right? So Luke Cage on the far side. And then you got Daredevil right next to him. So any like adjacent style hits that hit Luke Cage, well, it's gonna hit Daredevil now. And you know, Daredevil's squishy, but it's kind of a payoff because then uh, Punisher goes in 
and he is able to counterattack, and Punisher does a lot of damage. So it's better that way. It's good to keep Punisher away from the battles because he doesn't take as much healing as the other defenders do from Iron Fist. And so Daredevil can take a bit of a beating, but he also gets a decent bit of healing from Iron Fist that Punisher doesn't. So it's important, once again, to consider all of these different things and just know, like, hey, like, I gotta think about this. Like, this is important. That way, you know what you're doing. Another little trick, and this is just me, I often don't like to do this. And what it is, is that I don't like to do mirror matches when the team is way stronger. What I mean by that is, all right, so look at this, exact same teams, positioning is a little different, but for the most, it doesn't, I think that's okay. Those aren't really a big deal, but when you look at it, it's so it's the exact same team, but this team has 44,000 more power than mine. Got more red stars, got more everything. And so what I want to point out with that is that you may have the proper strategy, but it's literally the exact same team. And if they do everything exactly the way that you do it, most likely they will win because they're simply just stronger. So that's just a me thing. Not everybody cares about that but I don't like to face mirror matches on exact same teams because when it's not the exact same team, you know, it's totally different. Now, granted, I don't think I'd want to fight this team either though. I've never fought it before, but that seems like that would be a pretty scary team to face. So what I'm getting at is just consider things and then as you consider them and you grow and you learn, a lot of this stuff becomes second nature because when you assemble a team, you just automatically assume, all right, tank on the outside, is there any synergies? You know, da 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 da, and then you come to Blitz, it's like, okay, I'm not gonna fight this team because it's a mirror match, they're way stronger. And so you might just switch teams. You might just switch to, you know, I don't know, your Brotherhood team. And, you know, Brotherhood could take on this team, no problem, I'm sure. So I think it's just one of those things that you look at and you say, all right, so what's the best way to do it? It's, it's important to think about each matchup and to just kind of know what you're getting into and not just rush in blindly and say, oh, just pick these strongest characters and get in there. So I think you guys know most of this, but these are the tips that I would give to say, hey, if you want to consistently win blitz matches, max out the milestones, get high rankings, this is what you need to do. That said, guys, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd love to answer them. Hopefully this helped somebody out. I would have loved to have a video like this when I first started playing the game. And, you know, I actually started making YouTube content because when I was playing, I had questions like this and I couldn't find videos on it anywhere. So, like I said, I hope this is helpful. Um, if it is, smash that subscribe button, smash the like button, leave a comment with any other questions or thoughts on it, and maybe any further suggestions. Uh, yeah, love to hear them. Love to know about them. Uh, as always, important links are in the description. We've got uh, Patreon, we've got uh, Beautiful Halo Affiliate, and we've also got Discord and Twitch. So check all those out. Um, yeah, it's great. So thank you guys so much for watching, and see you in the next one.